Uh, I'm currently doing some vertex stream right now, and I found out some things that I think are pretty useful, and I haven't seen them online anywhere. So I'm going to quickly go through them now. Go into texture paint mode, and then add a new base color. This will work with uh, mouse or tablet, but uh, it will be better with tab tablet just so you can get the pen pressure. And then make a rough color base. So here I'm just going to make a sort of white to gray gradient. Or and smear it a bit. Uh, be sure to get references of whatever you're painting if you're trying to go for an animal that exists or uh, anything for that matter really and just try and use that now we're going to use the smear tool and we're going to set it up with a texture mask so click new click this button go into texture paint uh, texture mask and then change this to for an eye in the colors Go to color ramp, change this so that the white is on the left and the black is on the right. And you can slide this about here, I find that, that works best. Then come back into your paintbrush, this should update. Yep, and then change that to change the mask mapping to view plane. This will mean that instead of uh, tiling it, so doing more or less nothing, it will drag the texture along with it. Uh, oh yeah, be, be sure to, on the smear brush specifically, don't have pressure on. And then this should give you a first smear. So increase that size a bit. And then just start painting. Uh, be, be sure to go in and out, get colours mixing in, overlapping. Uh, this will be some fairly long fur, but uh, this will essentially just make it so you don't have to have uh, a million brush strokes. It'll sort of span it out into multiple at once so you don't have to. Uh, texture everything and then try to make sure that all of the fur follows a specific direction so it's all sort of flowing in one direction or one's base and then another trick I found was if you want to have this have a bit more give it a bit more uh, substance you can then add a roughness variant to the texture so adding a new roughness map and then uh, if you go into rendered, should show this now uh, with the normal texture, but um, we want to paint the roughness, so in here what you do is you go to the normal paintbrush and then change the texture mask to be the same as the texture you made for the um, smear brush. And this needs to be in view plane as well. And then what we could do here is we could start... Oh, uh, you want to you want to reduce this size a bit, and uh, the next thing is spacing. Uh, what what this will do is it will cr decrease the distance between the brush strokes. So if I change this to about two percent, uh, instead of smearing, it will sort of now uh, well it will now smear instead of just dot it, and then from here you can start adding. Uh, Brush strokes. Oh, for this you want to um, make sure to turn on radius as well, and then from here you can then see the differences in the roughness. So if I go to rendered, uh, should show up here that the roughness changes, so you can paint along top the same texture. 
and then when looking in the light, you'll get some shading. Uh, make sure to follow the original things, unlike me. Something that can help with specular is if you instead make this quite large and then change the texture mapping to tiled again, you can lay down a few spots of white and then using the smear brush again, smear that as well. And this can just give you a bit more patchiness in your uh, specular. And then that can show up as uh, different uh, patches of color. Uh, same thing for the base material, uh, the base color. So if you do some patches of light, and dark. If you then smear it, you get some more layers to your fur. Uh, the shorter the stroke, generally the shorter the fur. And then for more realism, you can repeat this effect on top of itself, uh, adding multiple layers as you go up. Uh, there's no real key to this and all fur is going to be different, so uh, I hope this helps at least with getting started and having somewhere to go from.